Welcome to Wakalenka Inspires, the channel where we explore inspiring stories that strengthen our faith and trust in God's plan. Today, we delve into the compelling narrative of Samuel's journey in the Bible and the invaluable lessons we can draw from it. I'm your host, and together, let's embark on this journey of unwavering faith. In life, we face challenges and uncertainties. Our faith is tested, and we must trust God's plan. Instead of dwelling on problems, let's look up to the Lord and rely on His faithfulness. Today, our focus is on the inspiring story of Samuel in the Bible. A story of trust, faith, and the transformative power of God's plan. Samuel's journey begins with a barren woman named Hannah, whose heartfelt prayers for a child went unanswered for years. Despite the challenges, Hannah never gave up hope and continued to trust in God's plan for her life. God heard Hannah's prayers and blessed her with Samuel, who grew up in the service of Eli, the high priest at the time. As a young boy, Samuel had a profound encounter with God. It was during the night that the Lord called Samuel's name, and he thought it was Eli who was calling him. However, after three instances, Eli realized that it was, in fact, God calling Samuel. He instructed Samuel to respond. Speak for your servant is listening. This simple yet powerful statement reflects Samuel's unwavering trust in God's plan. Samuel's willingness to listen and obey laid the foundation for an extraordinary journey guided by unwavering trust. Samuel's wisdom grew, leading him to become the last judge and a prophet. His leadership inspired the nation to stand against the Philistines in a battle for freedom. When we seek God's blessing, not only does he bless us, but he also empowers us to be a blessing to others. It's amazing how Hannah's humble request for a son not only brought blessings to her own life, but also impacted the entire nation of Israel. When the Israelites realized that Samuel's sons were not suitable to lead them, they requested to appoint a king to govern them. Sadly, Samuel was dissatisfied with their request because he knew that having a king would bring heavy burdens upon the nation. Samuel wanted the Israelites to understand that having a king would come at a great cost to their freedom, resources, and even their own children. Despite their desire to be like other nations, Samuel wanted them to consider the consequences and burdens that would come with having a king. God acknowledges that asking for a king is not the best decision, as it implies a refusal of God's kingship. However, the Lord decides to grant the people the freedom to choose their own system of governance, and tells Samuel, Listen to the voice of the people in all that they say to you, for they have not rejected you, but they have rejected me from being king over them. Samuel showed remarkable trust in God's judgment by obediently anointing Saul as the first king of Israel. Despite the challenges that arose from this decision, Samuel remained faithful and continued to serve both God and the people. As Samuel grew older, he faced numerous challenges and difficult circumstances. Yet, throughout his life, he continued to believe in God's guidance and trust in his plan. When adversity struck, Samuel sought solace in prayer and sought the Lord's wisdom. His example teaches us the importance of turning to God during our darkest moments and relying on his strength to lead us forward. In his last days, he urged the people to turn away from idols and devote themselves to the one and only true God. He cautioned them that if they and their king Saul went against God's commands, they would face the consequences. Unfortunately, during a battle with the Amalekites, Saul chose not to follow God's instructions fully. Despite Samuel's clear directive to destroy everything, Saul spared the evil king's livestock. This decision angered God and became the reason for him to choose a different king, rather than Saul. Since Saul chose not to follow God's guidance, Samuel could no longer provide him with divine wisdom. This saddened Samuel as he pondered the missed potential in Saul's life had he embraced God's plan. Uncertain of what lay ahead, Samuel eagerly awaited God's next plan for Saul. The Lord said to Samuel, how long will you grieve over Saul, since I have rejected him from being king over Israel? In a nutshell, God had a message for Samuel, stop dwelling on what could have been with Saul. 
Samuel shouldn't blame himself for what happened with Saul because it was solely Saul's responsibility. Despite initially having concerns about crowning a new king for the people, Samuel relied on God's guidance and followed his decision. When God selected another king to succeed Saul, Samuel faced the task of anointing a new king. While Saul was still reigning, Samuel hesitated, fearing Saul's potential harm if he were to hear about it. But God offered a solution, instructing Samuel to approach Jesse's house under the pretense of making an offering to the Lord. Once there, God promised to reveal the chosen one whom Samuel would anoint on his behalf. Seeking God's direction is often challenging. But as Samuel learned, it becomes clearer when we look back. Sometimes, God's chosen path may not align with our expectations, but trusting his direction is foolproof. In his quest to find a suitable replacement for Saul, Samuel comes close to making the mistake of judging by appearance. At first glance, the young boy David seems insignificant to Samuel. But with God's guidance, he finally realizes that David is God's chosen king for Israel. David, however, doesn't fit the stereotypical image of a leader that people expect. Even the Philistine giant Goliath underestimates him. David is not a traditional candidate for several reasons, including his youthful age and being the youngest son in a society where the firstborn holds significance. And he is of mixed ethnicity. As one of his great-grandmothers was Ruth, an immigrant from the kingdom of Moab. Despite these apparent disadvantages, God recognizes David's immense potential. God's guidance doesn't always align with our desires or what we think is best. Our understanding is limited, relying on appearances and past experiences. But God sees our hearts and knows the future. Recognizing his sovereignty gives hope in following his plans. Trusting in his direction is foolproof, leading us on the right path. Seeking his plan, he will make it known, like with Samuel. The Lord doesn't judge people by their appearance. He looks at their heart. In God's kingdom, appearances can be deceiving. Overlooked or underestimated individuals can surprise as leaders. We may be tempted by charisma. But God values a person's heart over all else. The story of Samuel and Hannah offers valuable lessons on trusting God's plan. Even when prayers seem unanswered, our faith provides strength to navigate challenges. Samuel's example urges us to seek God's guidance and surrender to his will. In conclusion, the story of Samuel and Hannah in the Bible is a compelling narrative that showcases the power of trust in God's plan. As we encounter difficulties, let us remember to trust in the Lord, seek his guidance, and experience the transformative power of faith. Thank you for joining us on this faithful journey. May your trust in God's plan be unwavering, just like Samuel's and Hannah's. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more inspiring stories. Until next time, take care and stay faithful.